Protocols are great for ensuring quality and uniformity in your laboratory. With LabFolder, you can make entire templates for your experiments and procedures. In this video, we'll talk about how to edit and integrate your templates directly in your electronic lab notebook for your own use, as well as to share them with your colleagues. An overview of all templates created in your lab folder group can be found under Manage Templates. To create a template from scratch, use the plus add button as learned in the video how to set up your templates. To edit a template, simply click on the respective one. Here, you have now the option to fill your template with information by inserting individual elements using the six different element types provided in the template header. For example, you can add a text element first, where you describe the title of the protocol once again and apply different formatting to make clear that this is the header section. In addition, you can add a separate text field for the detailed description of the method itself. Using the Upload File icon, it is also possible to embed an image showing the scheme of the method. In addition to uploading image files, LabFolder also offers the possibility to easily transfer existing protocols and SOPs saved in Word documents to the ELM. You can simply use the Upload File icon again to upload the Word document of your protocol and extract its content to the template. Upon extraction, LabFolder will transfer text, tables and images into new corresponding types of elements. You can then remove the original file from the template as well as the content which is present twice. To adjust the layout of the protocol according to your needs, each element is equipped with a 4 error icon allowing you to adjust the position of an element by dragging and dropping. In case you had a table for calculations incorporated in your document, you can now let LabFolder perform the calculations as the table is transferred to a table element. By offering a common structure for the specifications of physical quantities, LabFolder's data elements help you to organize your experimental parameters. You can use numerical data elements for physical quantities and descriptive data elements for any qualitative data. Data groups can be used in order to cluster different experimental parameters. Together with the option to reference used items listed in the Inventory Management System lab register, data elements provide a perfect tool for structuring data in a common way and can help you in increased reproducibility. When leaving the value field of numerical and descriptive data elements empty, you can create placeholders to be filled in later by the person performing the experiment according to experimental parameters. Additionally, when using data elements to organize your data, thanks to the advanced search which is able to convert SI units, you can be confident that when you search, the data will show up even if the units are different. Furthermore, you can add file placeholders to your template to indicate that you expect the users of the protocol to add the respective result file of the experiment to it. By structuring the template with these tips, each experiment can have the same uniform layout and your team saves time by only having to fill in the parts that depend on experimental parameters. In case you would like to trace the changes made to the template, you can simply open the history of the template. Lastly, to simplify the search for this template as well as entries created from this one for you and your colleagues, you can add tags to the template which can be used as a unique identifier of the technique, reagent or other experimental details. In this way, the tags not only help you to find data quicker, but also provide a short summary of the content below. Just like post-it notes can help you organize your lab notebook, 
tags and lab folder can serve the same purpose and do it even better. To use the template in an ongoing project in a lab notebook, navigate to the notebook view by using the navigation panel or find the respective project under Manage Projects. Use the plus add button on the top left hand corner and select entry from template to create a new entry in your project by using any of the existing templates which you have created or which have been shared with you. Select the protocol which you would like to use and it will be added as a new entry in your project with you as the author in order to preserve intellectual property protection. When using the template in your notebook, remember to add the title that follows the guidelines of your group Attach appropriate tags in addition to the corresponding tags attached during the protocol creation to the entry and define custom dates. In this way, you will easily find it in the future with the search or filter tool. You can then start to customize the parameters of your experiment according to the protocol specifications in the different elements. Alterations from the original protocol can easily be detected by accessing the entry history which also provides information on how an entry was created. In addition to creating and using templates in the notebook, you also have the option of using existing entries as a form of templates by creating a duplicate of a previous entry with a duplicate entry option when repeating an experiment or performing a similar experiment. This option will replicate the entry under your name, so you can edit it and adapt all the values in it in order to reflect the data of your new experiment. Thank you very much for your attention.